It's finally here. Bubble have released the native mobile app builder. I'm Matt. I've been building web apps with Bubble since 2017 and teaching people how to build web apps with Bubble for the last few years. But now Bubble is a multi-platform. I mean, it's both web and it's mobile, meaning iOS and Android. Here are my takeaways, whether you are just a beginner on Bubble or whether you've been building web apps with Bubble for years now. The first thing to remember is that this is a beta. The web app version of Bubble has been going on for over a decade now and it's got a vast plugin library to expand beyond the core components. Now plugins are available, uh, there's been limited access to a certain a select few plugin developers to build plugins for mobile, but I just wouldn't expect to be able to do on mobile everything that you can do in the web version. For example, can you tap into a device's microphone? I don't think that's going to be coming anytime soon. This is mainly because the Bubble native apps are built on React and we're yet to see how much a Bubble plugin developer for mobile can tap into device hardware beyond what Bubble will allow based on what they are compiling behind the scenes for the React. But let's talk about why this is exciting. For a long time, Bubble has been the go-to no-code web app development platform if you are building any sort of dashboard apps. For example, a CRM, I think that the mobile app builder is ready to build those sort of apps in mobile right away. And the advantages are many, including that you have a single database. In Bubble, you can build your web app version and you can build your mobile app version. And there's so many similarities between them, including the sharing of the database. This means that if you're building a custom CRM, you can have a search and you can have your contacts searched through by your current user in your web view. It would only take you a few minutes to build something similar in the mobile app. So in terms of design, the mobile app builder allows you to tap into many of the intuitive UI UX experiences that we've come to take for granted on mobile, such as lists, which enables swipe actions. You can build workflows all around that. And you can tap into device hardware and previously only native features such as push notifications and location data, as well as camera. And you can preview your app using the Bubble Go app without having to pay any marketplace fees. For example, if you want to publish to Apple, I believe it's like $99. It's slightly less to publish to Google. But you can build your app and test it without having to fork out those expenses. But I hear you say the burning question on everyone's lips, will it support liquid glass? Second question, what is liquid glass? Well, it is already highly controversial. It's a new uh, design scheme that Apple introduced and previewed at WWDC a few days ago. It's already controversial. People are saying it's inaccessible, that there's too many layers, that you can't actually read the content. There's some uh, amazing examples out there of just how unusable the control center has become. But here's the thing in terms of app design is that historically, Apple have been a pioneer, basically where Apple has gone with design everyone else has followed. And if we just look at some of the examples, these are all great designs, but is the bubble a native app builder gonna be held behind by React? Because you will not be able to build liquid glass designs anytime soon. If you think about what React is doing, Bubble is using React as a popular and really helpful shortcut to, get, to build an app once and yet publish it to iOS and to Android. Now, where you get into issues is if iOS and Android have diverging design systems. And we're only going to really see in the coming like, days and months and developers will start publishing apps to the beta. More news will come out. Uh, are Apple developers going to embrace the liquid glass design? In which case I can see iOS apps taking a real distinct turn away from designs such as this. And are we going to be in a place where designs like this look like, you know, when you view a website and you think, oh, this hasn't been updated for over a decade. I really hope not because these are very usable and there's lots of critique, like I've just said, of liquid design. And it would be really sad if we got to a place where the no code route to publishing a native app still look like a website wrapper, even if it works slightly quicker and it can tap into the device hardware. So over the coming weeks, we will be diving into the native app builder. We'll be releasing tutorials because if you are new to Bubble or you are building an app and you've got stuck, then Planet No Code is the place to go because I offer one-to-one -one tuition and we've got hundreds of Bubble tutorial videos all focused on uh, building a web app so far. Like I say, mobile is coming. We just want to help and support people so they don't spend hours wasting their time and money building an app. We want to accelerate you towards launch so 
click the link down in the description for more details on how you can access all of our amazing resources.